Hi, I'm Tony. Welcome to Sports Bike Shop's video about the Risha Cyclone Gore-Tex jacket. Risha's Cyclone Gore-Tex jacket is a high quality textile touring jacket that's impressed its owners since it was launched in 2017. The customer reviews are full of praise for this setup, which has also won a recommended tag from Ride Magazine. Those two accolades, the heap of customer reviews and also the Ride Magazine award, help prove the Cyclone Gore-Tex jacket is worth the outlay. The outer shell for this jacket is mostly made up of 500 denier cordura, with some thicker 750 denier cordura fabric at the elbows and the shoulders. Reacher have also used stretchy cordura just behind and in front of the shoulders to give a bit more flexibility. There are fit adjusters at the arms where there are straps above and below the elbow and then there are also belt straps at the waist and then there are some poppered adjusters at the hips to help you fine tune the fit. The main fastener for the jacket is a chunky zip with a velcro storm panel across the front to protect it from rain and then the collar is a velcro and popper fastener which can also be hooked back on here to give you a little bit more room around the throat if that's what you want. The cuffs combine zips and Velcro and there's room to get gloves inside or they'll also tighten up to accommodate gloves on the outside if that's the way you prefer to ride. It's not the widest opening but it is possible to get gloves inside. There are zipped vents at the chest and there are also two at the lower back but bear in mind that air has to get through the waterproof Gore-Tex membrane on this jacket because it's a drop liner. So opening the vents will cool things down but not by as much as it would on a jacket that either has a removable membrane or where the membrane's laminated to the outer shell because on one of those it opens up when you undo the vents and it goes directly through. There's plenty of praise in the customer reviews for the Cyclone Gore-Tex's ability to cope with a wide range of riding conditions. So that venting issue should only really present itself on really roasting hot rides. There are two external pockets, both fully gore lined for waterproofing and then there's another four interior pockets and you get those whether you have the removable thermal liner in place or not. The last detail on the outside, there's loads of light reflective material for nighttime visibility on this jacket. And if standing out is really important to you, then this jacket also comes in a black, yellow, high-vis design as well. So that will really make you stand out. Switching to the inside, there's that Gore-Tex waterproof membrane that I was talking about. It's a three layer liner, so it's very substantial and it does a good job according to both the customer reviewers and also the pros at Ride Magazine. It's a drop liner, as I said, so it protects you against any water that passes through the outer shell. And that outer is treated with DWR, that's durable water repellency. So if the water stops beading up on the outer of a jacket, it's always worth retreating it, as that helps the waterproof membrane inside do its job and keep you warm and dry. The membrane in this jacket works in tandem with the removable thermal liner, which is a full sleeve liner, and the customer reviews suggest that's very effective too. The word warm is mentioned a lot in the 45 reviews that have been left so far and that seems especially prevalent amongst riders who bought the jacket in November, December and January so you know they're the types who are really riding it in winter. The armour in this jacket is pliable D3O protection for the shoulders and the elbows and it meets the basic level 1 of the CE standard. Then there's a central spine protector that meets the level 2 of the standard. It's a narrower panel of back protection than you get in many jackets but the pocket is able to take an optional full back protector if you want more complete coverage across your back. Then there's also a full length connection zip as well which hooks up to those matching Cyclone Gore-Tex trousers I mentioned earlier. This jacket really has impressed the people who've bought it. Of the 45 reviews left so far, 40 of them have been 5 star reviews and the other 5 were 4 star reviews as well. There really is very little criticism at all to be found in those reviews. And I was also impressed with the quality of this jacket when I spent some time wearing one on a Yamaha Tracer 700. Perhaps the one thing that stands out from those reviews, it's not a criticism, but several owners describe the fit as snug. So I'd say if you find yourself on the cusp of two sizes, the common feeling is that it's worth going for the larger of those two sizes rather than going for the smaller one. I hope that tells you everything you wanted to know about the Risha Cyclone Gore-Tex jacket, but if there is anything you'd like to ask or to add, then please pop a comment below. Thanks for watching.